I like the angle of the last one, so I gotta make sure nice. it's a little bit better. How is this one compared to the last one? It's good. We had too much extra couch on the last one. Too much extra couch. Yeah, me and Skyler looked like a couple sitting next to each other on the couch with an extra spot. With a whole extra, extra space. Spot. Nice <laughs> well, we do keep an open mind here to Comic Book Club. So now I know I have plenty of room. <laughs> to each his own here to Comic Book Club. <laughs> keep it comics? Question mark? <laughs> we have a real leader! Yeah! It's your boys and I am Jay, we shut it down. Man, a comic book look invading your town. Keep it comics, Keep it comics. and let the beer flow. Beer flow. It's a global, it's a global. since our premiere show. premiere show. Riverdale Studios on fire, we don't know where to park. Technology and booze, it's like we're rolling out like Tony Stark. Tony Stark. Skylar, Tom, Skylar and John. Tom and John, we the bestest. The bestest. Swag so villainous, so please arrest us. Arrest us. Yeah, 106, 106 dogs. Okay. 106. Alright. Everyone ready? Yeah, ready. Sky, are you done neglecting the show? You just keep going, you know. he'll He's going to be <laughs> on there for a while. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Welcome to a comic book look, everyone. It's your weekly comic book show. We talk about anything in the comic book industry. You want it, you got it. My name is John, a.k.a. John on Demand, a.k.a. the comic book Calamity Jane. Calamity uh. Jane! Uh, over here, I got my two co-hosts, extraordinaire Thomas Devine. There can be only one, and Skylar, Mister HD, ten eighty makes us look <laughs> so sexy, so crisp. Count those YouTube. pixels. It makes the videos want to jump our bones. All right. <laughs> Anyways, another awesome week in comics, you guys. How is everyone doing? Doing well, Johnny. Great opening as always. I, yeah, man. I'm... I really, I, you know, I really practice that one in front of the mirror. I assume yeah. you do. I, I just I, can picture you yeah. just in front of the mirror. Yeah. Well, I'm shaving. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Yeah, you shave a lot. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's hard being a mountain man, you know? Yeah. You so gotta I, stay warm out here in the right. frigid tundra of South Face Dakota. Face scarves are the yeah. new trend. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's if a if cool you zero degrees out. It saves you about 20 bucks, so. Yeah. Oh, man, maybe someday I can grow my own <laughs> beard. But while, while we're at the beginning here, I'm gonna go ahead and bring things down a little bit. Let's so bring them down, Sky. We can, we can go ahead self. and bring it back up. <laughs> Uh, just a little memorial for Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yep. A great actor, uh, known for many, many great movies. Capote, one of his best. Uh, he was in comic book movies, uh, The Hunger Games, and he was in both of them too, wasn't he? He was in the second one as well, I believe. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure, but opiates are dangerous. Kids, stay off drugs. Yeah, heroin's terrible. Hugs, not drugs. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, no doubt about it, man. I agree. He's one, definitely one of the best actors of our generation uh -huh. he'll be sorely missed and you know fuck comic book movies i mean he was a pt anderson guy i mean paul thomas anderson yeah. the greatest director of our time is you know that was his guy i mean he, just the way that he as soon as i saw him in boogie nights when however long ago that that came out you knew right away that he was something extremely special even though he had a very small role in that yeah. Yeah. um and from then he only grew and i it's so crazy i will have to watch it now but i've never seen capote which yeah, he's most I, famous for either. I started watching it one night and fell asleep yes. about ten minutes in. So, so I got to say, I Big would, Lebowski. And it wasn't anything to do with the movie, but yeah, yeah. Big Lebowski and um, you know, uh, what was I? Just, what was the first movie I mentioned? Oh yeah, Boogie Nights. Those are my two favorite that he was in, and he didn't have. He wasn't the main actor in those, but like his supporting role is so memorable in both of those. So, and he yeah, he just became a role and really made a movie. My personal favorite, Sinecchi, Sinecdoche, Sinecdoche, New York. I don't know exactly how Schenectady. it's Schenectady. Yeah, something like that. That Yeah, it's a movie about a play, and he decides that the play is going to be about his life. So he hires actors to play himself and builds like a small city inside of a warehouse. And those characters, because they're playing his life, have to hire characters to play themselves. So there's someone playing... Somebody else. This The writer... And there's someone playing the character who's playing the writer, who's played by Seymour Hoffman. <laughs> so it just adds so just a whole other yeah. level, and it's it's just so weird and convoluted. But and it, this was just like this, the opus of this writer. You know, it was yeah. his big moment, and he had to get it done. And it, he never actually finished the play because 
of how insane and complex it was. Oh man, that sounds crazy. Yeah, a great movie. I'll have to check that out for sure. But yeah, okay, well let's stop being depressed All right. about people that are killing themselves on drugs. Definitely. And let's go to the next thing. Um, What do we do on the show again? Comics oh, comic you? books. That's yeah, right. Comic, comics. Yeah. comic yeah. books. Comics. Comic books. Work yeah, I, know. I thought it was a UFC yeah. show for a second. Oh, right. um, yeah, what do you got, right, John? You got a bunch of comics? I, I have a problem. Oh, boy. So out here in the Midwest, we get ice and snow in the winter. Yep, zero degrees. Right so now. I was leaving Ken's house one morning. Yeah, I stayed over. Oh, <laughs> oh get freaking! Oh my gosh! So I had my laptop and my bag with my comics in there. Um, well, basically, right now, last week's comics are here with me, and I also had a bottle oh. of chloroseptic spray in my bag. So when oh. I fell on his steps on my back, I managed to wreck thirty dollars. You Lazarus pitted your whole entire unintentionally. stack unintentionally, and they're you sticky pages. I did not the... enjoy them that much. It's chloroseptic. Yeah, and monster load. I'm glad dude. that I right, I'm glad that I read them, but I was incredibly disappointed. Let me oh, see no. that. Oh my also, god. Also, I did want to tell you guys. Are I, you gonna put these in plastic still? No. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Uh, I am also. I won't be able to edit any videos see, yes. because I toasted my external hard drive in this fall as well. Oh, no so way. All the video files, six seasons of Sopranos, gone like that. Oof. Because it won't turn on for whatever reason, that so I'm gonna try to recover it or whatever. But it probably no, won't happen. John, that so sucks, I need a new man. drive. Yeah, I was pretty bummed, and it hurt a lot. <laughs> but and then Ken fell on top of me, which didn't help. He was like, "Are you okay?" And then boom, and I'm like, "Okay, now I hurt twice." <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my god! Did you land you on your get... back or ass or what? I landed on my back slash side on the the stair, and like I was curled up like ow, and then he got me on the other side when he fell on me, and I'm like, "Oh my god." Oh, no. So, and my MacBook was on my back, so I was scared about that, but thankfully that works. But, yeah, you can see the repercussions. Isn't that just, just fail? Yeah, these are rough, this guys. These are the worst it. John's comics I've ever looked. Yeah, so he, that's... He did uh, some salt over there. I, I, I had some wonderful comics. I read them all. It was actually a really strong week, and then I managed to trash them, so... Damn, well, talk about your favorite one. Oh, well, I don't even really remember them now. Let me see if I can open it. Um... This issue of Batman, Batman 27, have you been reading this still? Yeah, totally. What's your opinion on this series? I haven't, I haven't oh, I, on the series, yeah. I like it. I mean, it's dark, and a lot of people yeah. have been saying that, you know, it's not as the quality as it once was, yeah. but I actually have been enjoying it thoroughly. I mean, I think the art continues to yeah. be well. Yeah. Um, I don't like the t when they try to tie into other books at all, yeah. but this Batman series does a really good job of, even though there's other books tying into what's going on, that it doesn't really play that. Um, yeah, yeah. I haven't actually read don't up to twenty seven. Yeah. Don't, I don't they don't play that noise, but um still, I mean Scott it's, Snyder and Greg yeah. Capullo, I like it. Yeah. So I don't know. What do you think of it, John? I, I would agree. I mean it overall it's cool. It's a solid series, but I'm kinda starting to lose the soul train. You know, the Joker thing was just you know, all the nerds are creaming their mm -hmm. pants over that event, you know. But as of late it's just been like so awesome that we're used to awesome, and now it's becoming monotonous yeah. because it's so awesome. Yeah, that, and that's what a lot of you people know. have said. That it's just not you can't keep yeah. on doing the same thing. But yeah. I still enjoy it, man. I've read a lot of Batman comics, and it's still really good for a Batman title. Yeah. And then also, since I don't read a lot of superheroes, I'm reading only Daredevil and only Batman. Yeah. I don't even read Wonder Woman anymore, so I'm down to only two superhero titles at all that I. I love it because, you know, I'm not getting overloaded in that kind of genre. Sure. Um, there's some image titles that I guess have superheroes in them, Jupiter Legacy and I don't know some other ones, but they're so much different. It's that, not, yeah, it's not the mainstream yeah. superhero type book. And this is totally a horror book um, that they're that they're putting on here. Um, so it's, it's still interesting enough to me. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm still behind in all my comics. You guys will find out in a second. So. <laughs> I'm going to give it probably like a four out of six. It was solid. It was just yeah. like, neither here nor there. Will I buy this one again if I have the opportunity? Yeah. Am I going to go out of my way? No, because no. I've already read it. Exactly. So, Don't worry I'll, probably, I'll probably wait on and it. And everybody's bit. buying this series right now, so you'll fucking find that bitch in a quarter. Yeah. 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 <sighs> yep, I feel you. Well, I'm going to talk about Daredevil. How has and it been this going? Is, I, like Isn't I that said, when I stopped for you? Just yep. I just did a marathon, and this is what I read. All of these. Um, it's been a while, 
since I've gotten into Daredevil yeah. a long time. So let's see even like this. This one is the last one I read. I mean, the first one I read in this series, and it was a long time. And this is September 2013, so it's always the month before. So, you know, what's that? Six, four months? Four months that of comics that I haven't read, and there's obviously more than four because they're coming out yeah. um, fast. And so I decided to just take care of it. I knew the series is ending soon. Okay. This is the second to last issue of this series where they're rebooting it with the same creators, which is my jumping off point. And so I will be down to just Batman as my superhero title. Yeah. But it'll be so nice to have this thing. I started on number one. Yeah. I got all the way to 36. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> these books carry some heavy shit. This is about... these. This story arc is about racism and cancer. Okay. And so you're... When I... If you guys watch earlier episodes, when I first got into Daredevil, I loved it because it was so fun-loving. Everything, it wasn't dark. It wasn't, you know, nitty-gritty. He was, he was like, wor he was forgetting about all the shit that he had happened before, where he like, you know, he was a bad guy for a while and stuff like that. And they don't address that at all. And he's trying to get his, you know, busy business. And Foggy is, um, you know, his right-hand man at the law office is back on top um, with him. And then that's really fun. Since then, it's gotten, obviously, way more uh, deeper genre, you know, deeper themes because fucking racism and cancer yeah, in yeah, one sure. comic book that's supposed to be about superheroes, you're just like, oh. I mean, thankfully, it has done really well. The racism thing is the um, Sons of the Serpent have taken over public office all around uh, New York, and they're doing that to try to spread the fear of race. And Daredevil's trying to counteract that at the same time that Foggy has cancer, his best friend, and he's going through chemo and all this shit. And Daredevil's still trying to keep his business going at the same time. And what you get is a <clears throat> lot of stories that deal with that stuff but are still somehow ridiculously fun. Like this one, Silver Surfer shows up. <laughs> Um, and he's, you get Daredevil riding Silver Surfer's board, and he's like, oh, oh, you know what, I'll go with you, but I got one condition, I'm driving. And then you get to see the sweet page of Daredevil riding nice. Silver Surfer's board. He doesn't even look happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> he is just Big upset. Frown. Yeah, oh, Silver Surfer is not happy, but he's like, he needs to find this guy. That's who's, an interesting pair. Yeah, who like tries to befriend Daredevil, um, but he's really an intergalactic, yeah. um, like, Herald um, of Doom. Yeah. Exactly, and so he has to come and take it out. And then then you get this crazy stuff with the Jester, which is a, kind of a cool villain that the Sons of Serpent take on. Um, and I think that lasts for a couple issues. But then you get the monsters, the Satana, Frankenstein, and all the boys that we got to see in, um, you know, in Thunderbolts for a little bit. And I, I, they're kind of just ridiculous characters, and then Daredevil meets up with them. And so you have all these really heavy things going on. But, you know, Mark Waite is definitely not going to let you not have fun yeah. while you're reading all this crazy shit. So then it harkens back to that time when, you know, like for, you know, Demon in the Bottle, you know, like Iron Man took on like the demons of what drinking can do. And, you know, like taking on these serious subjects in comic books is a thing that they've done forever. And yeah. so it's, you know, cool to see that Mark Waite is keeping that tradition in this very, very clear um, run of Daredevil that is different from any other Daredevil. It's clearly Mark Wade's Daredevil, and it's really fun that he has Somni on f for this last little bit. And then it um, at the end, um, I think 35, you know, shit's getting crazy, but um, looks like at this, it all ends. They show him, like, packing up the office, and so it's it'll be interesting to see what happens next um, because they had to close the thing. <clears throat> but then, and this one... Still really sad, but then you, he still calls Electra to like spar with and help him out and stuff like that. So you still get fun times. He's because it's the Sons of the Serpent. Like every snake character from the Marvel universe has yeah. fucking made an appearance too. So <laughs> anyway, though this huge run of Daredevil, I'm talking one through thirty six. Yeah. I haven't read thirty six yet. It's a classic run. It is totally. The same creator on every, or the same writer on every single issue, and they fucking punched it out and did something unique and cool. And so, you know, I'm sad to see it go, but it's also nice to have one more in the bank where a completed series like that. Yeah. And you know what? Fuck you, Marvel. I'm yep. not going to buy number one Daredevil yep. because you don't 
I mean, if you're you're that Doing something fucking good. stupid that you're gonna end the series and then restart it with the same writer and artist, yeah. why the hell are you even stopping it? Yeah. Just let them keep going. Exactly. I mean, if you want to stop it, get a whole new creative team. I like like let them start fresh. I get that. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. So fuck you, Marvel. I am out. No more Marvel books. After this, so yeah, that, that was my last one. Me too. So, I'm the kind of reader that would prefer to read like marathon style like yeah. that, where I just go through and exactly. fire all the way through them. That's I I've always I bought more trades than I ever did issues. Oh, like totally. Week to yeah, week. I know you do. But I, would you prefer having it that way, or do you like having it? You have that waiting period between like your favorite TV show or whatever, where you gotta wait for the next week or two weeks or a month, depending on how often it's coming out. Well, I mean, if I liked it that way, that's the way I would do it. <clears throat> I, I fucking love singles. I love having that weight. I love getting that chunk. I love having five chunks that I got to get in a week, and yeah. this is my next fix. And I've, I've gotten on that cycle where that's what I love to do. Now, if I have a couple hours on the weekend and free, then I'll always grab a graphic novel because I do like... I mean, it, it's, it's fun to read certain stories that way. Yeah. yeah. Um, but... It's just because my life has been really busy with everything that I'm behind. Sure. I would prefer to not be behind at all. And most of the time that we've been shooting the show, I'm reading those books, yeah. you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday that they come out. Yeah. And I and I'll get back to that. You know, I'm yeah. working away about sixty <laughs> books deep. Yeah, a little um, stand up there. Which is a nice stand to keep them in. Yeah, longer. exactly. Thank you, and uh, thank you, Sergeant. And uh, yeah, so. No, I definitely prefer it. I mean, if I didn't prefer okay. it, I would buy trades because everything comes out in trade now, especially yeah, image I, stuff. If you know. you're if you're on a storyline and you're really chomping at the bit to get the next one, you can't help but be weekly exactly. or monthly, depending on how often it comes out. If you're on top of it, yeah. But yeah, I personally would prefer to build them all up and marathon through, and that has a lot of challenges being a comic book reader because. Either they sell out of this one before you get there to buy it, or it's really hard to put together like old runs. Like I got into I got into Fear Agent. Oh, so fun! Yeah, really got in, got like six or seven issues deep, and then I I've missed one, and then I've got four more behind it. So I'm just sitting there waiting for that one issue to show up somewhere. But when before you're, I go on, yeah, you're a fool at that point, dude. Because you read those next four, you're gonna know exactly what happened in that one, man. Yeah. Come on. Because they're going to say, happened in Fear Agent, issue six, <laughs> and that's the one I'll be missing. Yeah, yeah no, Fear like, Agent. Me and Fear Agent. But how about, really how about you, John? You, I don't know. Long form or... Yeah, yeah, but you don't really buy graphic novels at all, right? I buy... I, the, only, the only trades I'll get is ones of major events. Yeah. Major Marvel events. <laughs> <laughs> What's your phrase? Like Marvel events that you haven't already bought in singles? Right, like Maximum Carnage sure. or, you yeah. know, Extinction Event. Yeah, Extinction yeah. Agenda, excuse me. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, so. hard to, f I mean, not hard to find, but I mean, like. I just prefer know, to do exactly. it that way because I, I do like events that I can just soak it up, you know. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, if you're, like, if Avengers vs. X-Men came out in a trade. Which I'm sure it did, but I'm gonna pretend like it didn't. Yeah, I still wouldn't buy it. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So it just depends on what the event is and stuff. Sure. I just I love like the early '90s. And... Yeah, I know you do. For sure. Yeah. So I I feel that. I mean, but yeah, I a lot of people always say like, oh, I'm a trade person, or I'm a yeah. single person. I'm, I'm a definitely singles. both because I buy a lot of. Tra I mean, I have a lot of trades. I buy yeah. a lot of trades, but I also I mean I definitely prefer the singles. Um, but I love singles that are coming back. If I'm going to go back, I'm not like the collector who's like, I need to have this. I, I'll buy the trade just to catch up, you mm -hmm. know, so I can get on board. And it's like the Walking Dead syndrome where Walking Dead sells so many trades and those people get caught up on the trade. So that is the reason why their single issues continue to grow and grow and grow is because so many people have caught people up. People keep catching that up. They so kind of, now they got to switch to, you know the next um, singles, man, since Walking Dead just yeah. continues to be so successful that it's not like it hurts their trade sales. Yeah. So, But yeah, Definitely. I mean, we're already deep in this, um, this show, so let's close this down pretty quickly. You got another... I can, I can hammer this one out. Really All right. Um, Wolverine Origin 2, the medication version. Um, <laughs> this is so gross. Medication Oh my version. god, you guys, you should see the shape of this book. Um, basically, it just in a nutshell, John I, I, hate this. I hate this so much. <laughs> it's torn. I'm sorry. This damaged. drives me batty. All right, so basically, I don't know, you guys. 
the series it's it's shot. cool it's bad yeah the whole book it's badass or whatever um granted the condition of the book i <laughs> i want to i want to like I, I like a lot of things about it but at the same time the issue itself wasn't necessarily groundbreaking for me and it's not in continuity with the major marvel u yeah, it's like, um, it's his original, it's just so a re- obviously... Well, it's that, but it's also retail. Every original, you know, oh, like it, it's Well, you know, that's the way I see it, because it's just oh. kind of like... Oh, it's comedy. not a part of your continuity. Right. Nice. <laughs> the John verse. Yeah, well, well, I, well, yeah I, my but, own as well. It, it is mean? the second origin story, so right. it's another How separate one. How many origins can Wolverine really have? Yeah, you know what I mean? Apparently so, a shit ton. <laughs> uh, evidently. Like, that's Mr. Sinister. How many artists can they have to do the Wolverine origin And, um... I don't know, you guys. The book itself, it was mean. It was fun. It was edgy. But I kind of have to look at uh, how many books I'm buying, what I'm getting out of it. And to be honest with you, I didn't get a whole lot out of this one. Yeah. I'll be perfectly honest with you. So I'm probably not going to rebuy that issue. And I'll probably have to put this one in the Lazarus Pit, along with some other books that you're very familiar with. (laughs) So uh, that'll probably be joining the ranks soon. Um, So what's the beer rating? I'd probably give it a two out of six, honestly. It wasn't bad. Mm-hmm. It just, you know what I mean. Like I gotta. Start it must have been kind of bad if it was two out of six. Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry. Or it's because you just can barely look at it after I it gets ruined. It's ruined, you guys. It's bad. In a fit of rage, Logan battled the bear, killing it and leaving its corpse in the woods. Sounds like Logan. James Howell. All right, but anyway, yeah. Hey, man, right. another episode. It's a good one. We're gonna be fucking flying at you more episodes constantly. Yeah. So you know, let's just shut this one down, bros. Bros. All right, you guys. Well, as always, have a great week in comics coming up. Don't fall on people's steps. Don't Trust me, hard. it's bad news bears all around. Um, if you guys Watch your eyes on want me. any medication soaked books, I'm sure I could ship them to you. Just let me know whenever. Um, but other than that, I just hope that everything's going awesome in your neck of the woods. Got some fantastic movies coming up. All the buzz on Facebook about the upcoming film. You know, it's going to be like joy on the big screen, I promise you. 2014 is a great year. But most importantly, we want to see that in comics. Vote with your dollars, you guys. Focus on that quality, not that quantity. Keep it comics Keep for it sure, comics. man. Keep it comics! Alright, guys. <laughs>